Much of the information about him comes from the medieval legendary chronicles. Besides the Muslim accounts of battles of terrain, he has been mentioned in several medieval kavyas, epic poems by Hindu and Jain authors. These include Prithviraja Vijaya, Hamira Mahakavya, and Prithviraj Raso. These texts contain eulogistic descriptions and are, therefore, not entirely reliable. Prithviraja Vijaya is the only surviving literary text from the reign of Prithviraj. Prithviraj Raso, which popularized Prithviraj as a great king, is purported to be written by his court poet Chand Bardai. However, it contains many exaggerated accounts, much of which is not useful for the purposes of history. Popularly known as Prithviraj Chohan or Rai Pithora was a king from the Chahamana Chohan dynasty. He was born to the king Sumshivara and queen Karpuradevi, a Kalachari princess, in 1166 CE. He ruled the Sapadaluksha which is a traditional Chahamana territory the present-day Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Delhi, Haryana, Madhya Pradesh, and some parts of Punjab. He had kept Ajmer as his capital but many folk legends describe him as the king of India's political centre Delhi. After the death of Prithviraj II, Samshivara the father of Prithviraj Chohan was crowned as the king of Chahamana and Prithviraj was only 11 years old when the entire incident happened. In the year 1177 CE, Samshivara passed away which led 11 years old Prithviraj Chohan to ascend the throne in the same year with his mother as the regent. At the early age of his rule as the king, Prithviraj Chohan's mother managed the administration which was assisted by the Regency Council. <laughs>